I guess I'm fascinated to know, did you, you know, you're specializing in sales. Did you always want to be in sales? Did you find sales or did it find you? How did that come about? It's a really good question, actually, Lisa. I um, <clears throat> I, I started my, my career by doing a hotel management degree. And there's a link here to sales, I promise you. So I did my hotel management degree. And as all people do, who leave the degree, you go to a hotel and you apply for a job and you get a job as a duty manager. And you end up, as we've all done in the hospitality world, at the young part of your career, working all the hours, all the weekends, and just having a great time, to be honest with you. And that's what I love about this industry, and one of the beauties of this industry, is that it's infectious and it's fun. However, I suppose I got to a point where I got to assistant manager of a small 48-bedroom uh, hotel in Edinburgh. And the real answer here, Lisa, to your question is, I got nosy. And I wanted to know why people were coming in front of me as I was managing reception or managing the guests in the, in the restaurant, housekeeping the whole team. What brings you here? Why is your rate so low when you get such a good room? Or why is your coach coming here? How do we win that business? Uh, so I, I started poking around and trying to work out how I could understand that. And um, my few colleagues at the time were saying, you need to move into sales. That, that's the, the, the discussion. Um, so that probably nosiness, Lisa, is what got me in the first place into sales. Did somebody give you a break then? Was there somebody in your <clears throat> management team or your head office that um, saw your potential and fed it? How, how did the transition from being in reception to being in sales take place? So I spoke to the general manager of the hotel, who was also the sales and marketing director of the company. Now, to be fair, Lisa, it was a small company. There were four hotels in Edinburgh. They were developing one in Glasgow. They were good four-star and five-star products. And, and she said, Look, yeah, we can try and develop you. And I, and I went into a transitional role where I had a day a week, a few hours here, a few hours there to get a bit of coaching and development and realized that quite right. And I go back to that nosiness again. It, it is that understanding what gets under the skin of customers and how we can learn more about them, how we could get to get them come to our hotel. Um, however, as I was going through that process, I actually applied for a job out with my company. And I saw a job advertised in a big multinational American company called Sheraton, the Sheraton Grand in Edinburgh. And with no sales experience whatsoever, I applied for that job. And I never got it. They said, Colin, thank you, but no thank you. And you've got some skills, but we've got someone else who's got stronger skills for us to, to take the next level. Thank you, but no thank you. And, and off you go on your way. And I thought, oh, a bit dejected, a bit disappointed that I hadn't <clears throat> made that next step in my career. And a week went by and they phoned me. And they said, Colin, we liked you. We don't have a job for you at the Sheraton Grand Edinburgh, but we're recruiting for a position down in London as a business development researcher. Would you like to have a conversation about it? And I won't lie to this, uh, my head said, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm from Edinburgh. I love Edinburgh. Scotland's a great city. Why would I go to the big bad smoke of London? Mm. And I thought about it and reflected on it. And I suppose one of the things that's helped me through my career is, well, let's see what happens. What happens if it doesn't work out? Well, we'll deal with that when it happens. And I suppose a bit of family coaching, a bit of family support gave me the confidence to go, yeah, let's, let's go and have an interview. And all of a sudden, I found myself in an environment where, in the interview process, I'd never been in anything like this before. I was in an interview with two people, who, the director of sales and the corporate sales director. They were giving me what I would call a grilling, um, old school style interview. There was good cop, there was bad cop. And, and I felt like a pawn in their game of chess. But they were having some fun, I think, at the same time as well, trying to test me to make sure that I would be the right person. And a long story cut it very short. Four weeks later, I started as business development researcher for three central London Sheraton properties. And if I'm honest with you, it was the best grounding that I could get into a sales career because I found myself learning from the bottom, learning from scratch and, and having to find certain skills, techniques before the days of Google properly. This is back in 2000. So it was a while before we had the, the social infrastructure, the LinkedIn's of the world. That, or allow us to be successful. Hi, I'm Lisa. I hope you enjoyed the film. If you did, please like and share. 
And if you've got any comments or any questions, just leave them in the box below and I'll come back to you there. Also, the links to my website, Powerful Success, are below as well. Have a little look around there. And I hope you enjoy the channel and have a really lovely day.